flight full of libs finds out that Derman is aboard, family horrified at what they see on landing. Liberals are constantly proving just how much they hate our country and everything it stands for. Many of them despise our military too, refusing to acknowledge that it's only because of the sacrifices that our brave men and women make that they're able to trash talk our country in the first place, as they routinely use their First Amendment rights to protest everything they hate about America. While we can excuse some of their behavior on just pure ignorance, what just went down on a Delta flight in Detroit, Michigan, as our fallen warrior made his final trip home in a flag-draped coffin, proves how disgusting and vile liberals truly are. As a Delta Airlines flight was making its descent into Detroit, the flight crew came over the intercom and informed the passengers that there was a very special hero on board. As Staff Sergeant Tandre Taylor was making his final trip home in a coffin below deck, they politely asked that out of respect for the sacrifice that this young service member made, that passengers remain seated until the coffin of the fallen airman was escorted off of the airplane. But sadly, the nasty liberals on the flight had other plans. One passenger on the flight by the name of Ken Fitzgerald couldn't believe what he was witnessing and decided to start recording the incident with his phone. Despite four announcements from the crew instructing the passengers to stay in their seats until the coffin had been removed by the honor guard, almost the entire plane full of passengers got up to rush to their next destination, as disembarking from the airplane was obviously more important than honoring the man who just gave his life to defend their freedom. Horrifically, the only people who remained seated was Fitzgerald, commuting airline employees, and the flight crew, where just outside the plane window the United States Air Force Honor Guard could be seen removing the dead soldier from the plane, as family members were visibly breaking down as they bore witness to his final homecoming. Posting on Facebook Fitzgerald wrote, Pretty damn disappointed in people today and multiple commenters wondered what has become of our society if we now think of ourselves before the men and women who gave their life for our freedom. Fitzgerald told Popular Military. Before we loaded in Phoenix, people were watching from the terminal as Staff Sergeant Taylor's remains were loaded into the aircraft, the really sad thing, we arrived to Michigan early, and people still rushed to get off the plane, really sad. Edge Review reported. As a Delta Airlines flight descended into Detroit, Michigan, the flight crew informed the plane that there was a special passenger on board. Staff Sergeant Andre Taylor was making his final trip home, and passengers were told to remain seated until the coffin of the fallen airman was escorted off the aircraft. According to a Facebook post by airplane passenger Ken Fitzgerald, despite four announcements with instructions, almost the entire plane full of passengers got up gathered their belongings and followed Taylor's A's escorts off the plane. The only people to remain seated were reportedly Fitzgerald, commuting airline employees, and the flight crew. While people were apparently hurrying to get on with their lives, just outside the plane window a family was mourning the loss of one. His coffin, draped with an American flag, was removed from the plane by the United States Air Force Honor Guard as his family members, all visibly breaking down, bore witness to his homecoming. Fortunately, this level of selfishness and disrespect seems to be the exception and not the norm. Other flights with fallen soldiers have had entire planes full of people in tears as they witness the heartbreaking ceremony, and others have offered a collective, somber round of applause for their sacrifice. It's absolutely sickening the blatant disregard that some Americans have for our military as they can't even be bothered with delaying their busy lives for several minutes in order to pay respects to the man who just made the ultimate sacrifice to defend their freedom. While there's no proof that the plane was full of liberals, could you imagine conservatives acting in such a vile manner? Share this story to expose how nasty liberals are. We appreciate your sacrifice, Staff Sergeant Andre Taylor. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe Breaking News 365 channel. Goodbye and see you again.